hello hello welcome to my channel my name is Prue or Prue LaRue I've been informed that I should have put a green lipstick on I'm sorry Annette and that someone had a few drinks before they filmed this so I'm trying to catch up uh, if you're interested because I just love promoting this brand this is the Belgrove Ginger Hammer they're a distillery in Tasmania and they're eco-friendly I love um, if you're upset I'm using a plastic straw I'm also sorry I bought the metal ones I put it in my coke and it fizzed I didn't know what's wrong with it anyway welcome welcome if you're from my channel thank you so much for returning I love you if you're from Annette's channel I also love you amazing and today I have super exciting news me and Annette are collabing <laughs> we have created a tag together and as behind the scenes youtuber tag it was really fun coming up with these questions with Annette. I love Annette. I talk about Annette all the time. I talk to Annette all the time. I swear. I'm not just like talking to like no one and pretending it's Annette. I mean, I could do that. <laughs> I tried to bring the Christmas spirit. Look, none of the Christmas hats fitted me. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry, Annette. I also bought the some reindeer ears. <laughs> I just so far back anyway Annette is one of my dear friends on this platform I love her I stand her um, I'm so grateful to her for collabing with me today and it's amazing <laughs> what can I say and I love talking to her about everything and I had a lot of fun coming up with these questions with her so let's get into this because this is a damn chatty tag and I'm sorry if this, like you were like long intro click out but I appreciate it if you stayed, please. I'm like, I'm sorry if this is your first time here. Annette is very technical and very precise in her things. I'm none of those things. I'm very chatty and I just love putting makeup on my face. I do colorful looks, I do neutral looks. I do whatever I feel like on the day. And then I talk about stuff. And yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. I am trying to like ramp up my efforts a bit more, but I thought this was interesting to do. I'm a super baby channel. I only just hit 100 subscribers and then someone unsubscribed and it went back to 99, which to be honest was kind of funny. <laughs> like, I was like, whoa, 100. Oh, no. No, no, it's not. <laughs> but let's get into this. I've chatted too long. I'm sorry. I. I said I wasn't, I said the intro was over and then I continued the intro. This is terrible, terrible etiquette. Um, <laughs> I love you if you're here. I like, if you're still here, you're amazing. Anyway, let's move in. We chose to do 13 questions because um, that's how many we came up with. I did ask in it. I was like, 13 questions, are you sure? That could be unlucky. Um, and she was like, no, let's do it. Number one, what was the hardest thing about starting a channel? I think for me, a part of the hardest thing was coming to terms with the fact that you're assuming that people might want to watch you. And then you're filming yourself, editing yourself in the hopes that people watch you. To what ends? And to me, I think that was a big barrier for a long time like why I put effort and time into something that no one's probably ever going to see but it just I just kept wanting to do it and so I say if you are thinking about doing it or you want to do it definitely just do it because I've had so much fun doing it I've met so many amazing people from doing this and I like I love them all <laughs> and I, I love the people in my comments I love I love this whole thing and I mean I'm a baby channel I'm I love it so I say just start it, but the biggest barrier for me was overcoming my self-doubt. Number two, what equipment do you use? Um, so I've got the Canon 80D, the Kathleen Lights, Angelica Nyquist camera. I settled on the Canon 80D because I felt like I would probably want to do more photography as well and not just video. And that's what having a mid-range DSLR can do. Not that a, like a $300 camera or a, an entry-level DSLR can do the same. But I have a problem where I always just want the best of the best. Yeah, I used the Canon. It was a big, it took me a long time to choose it. I've got the Rodi microphone that clips on the top. A lot of people recommend this. 
I don't know why it picks up all these extra noises that like infuriate me but it does guarantee that my audio is always stereo which means that you can hear it in both headphones if you're a headphone watcher usually anyway and I bought it so I keep using it but I don't think it's necessary I put the Luvo ring light in the corner of my desk as my ring light I have mixed feelings about this ring light I paid a lot of money for it I am planning to do a review on it later on but I'm just not in the mood <laughs> yet but I it took me a lot of fiddling around to sort of be happy with everything that's set up and part of that is because when I first got my camera I spent about six months playing with photography and buying photography equipment instead of actually doing YouTube videos which is sort of to be honest 95% of the reason I bought this camera though I do have some uh, webcam videos from like about a year and a half ago I tried filming myself on the webcam it, it was not good but it um, and that was sort of my first foray and I was like I just the quality isn't there I'm not in the right spot for this and that's how I've ended up here I think I only filmed like three videos like that by the way and they're all privated what editing program and what did you start with so a couple years ago my mum got me the Go a GoPro for Christmas I got the GoPro 4 when it first came out so the GoPro Studio is actually the first editing video thing I've ever used and my computer could not hack it. I could sort of pull out a bit of editing to go through and I did like little family vlogs or like family time footage. Not the same as like talking to the camera and telling you about my day but just editing family videos for my amusement and my friends. And then I, and currently I use iMovie and I haven't really tried anything else. I've been pretty happy with iMovie. Do you have any experience making videos before starting YouTube? So as I just covered, I have sort of been making GoPro family vlogs for a period of time. I've probably done that for the last three years, I think. Very sporadically. It's not like a thing. It's like if something good happens, I film it. I did one for like my friend's wedding, just like behind the scenes. It's not very good. But it's like, if you were there, or if you're me, like you want those memories. On average, how long does it take you to edit? So however long this video is, times it by about three to four, if that makes sense. So if you're looking at a half hour video, that probably took me two hours to edit. <laughs> I'm just not like good, and sometimes I ramble, and I try and make it like good. But yeah, I have fun with it. But it just, it takes me a long time, that's all. What was the worst technical accident you've had since starting your channel? Um, I haven't had anything really, really super go wrong. I have lost some footage, but I, I didn't really care. So it was fine. Um, I lost an eye look, I think, in a first impressions, but I was like, oh, well, move on. And how did I lose them? Oh, the, I think the card just, my memory card just shorted out. Didn't want to load them. And that was it. But yeah, so technical accidents, I've actually, like, touched wood, none yet. Um, did you ever film something and not upload it? Not really on purpose. There's actually one look that I don't think I'm going to upload that I did recently. And it was just that when I finished it, I didn't, I didn't like it. And I think I find the m longer that I'm filming videos and editing videos, the more critical I'm becoming of my content and the more I'm wanting to improve it. So I do spend a lot more time being like, is this eye look worth uploading? Is this footage good? So I think I'm going to scrap that look, but I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it again and do it better because that's what it's about. It's about moving forward. It's not about holding on to past things. Do you write a script or plan what you were going to talk about? Um, no, but <laughs> recently I've been trying to sort of get a good grasp of what I'm going to say before I sit down to film because sometimes I just get really chatty in my get ready with me's I look things and I go on these random tangents of things, which I mean, to be honest, it does entertain me, but 
it would be nice for my editing and I think for the people watching it if it sort of made just a little bit more sense. So I've, I'm not writing scripts but I'm definitely making an effort to sort of plan out my thoughts a bit more clearly. But I really do think that you kind of do have to do that on YouTube. You, you can't just sort of sit down and randomly start talking about anything, especially because you're talking to the camera and there's no feedback. So it's very easy to get sidetracked. It's very easy to forget things. It's also very easy to just change topics completely mid sentence, which I've done a lot. <laughs> so I think it is important to sort of plan some of what you're going to say. Have you started talking differently since starting your YouTube channel? I think yes, in some ways, I definitely make a bit more effort to enunciate my words. I've always been a quick talker when I, in my past, and I've had a lot of problems with people not understanding me in real life. So about two to three years ago, I spent a fair amount of time working on not talking as fast. So opening my jaw, and making an effort to just say the words properly. And I think filming myself and sitting down in this scenario, I do make an effort to try and be clear in what I'm saying. But otherwise, I don't really, I don't think I really censor myself. Like maybe I should start censoring myself a bit more. I just, I didn't realize I swore as much as I do sometimes, even though I don't think it's that much. But sometimes it's just natural. You just naturally say a little old swear word. I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I swear, I swore so much. So just stuff like that. <laughs> What's the one thing that annoys you when editing yourself? Um, it changes on different days and some days it can be my pause. Just like if I zoom in and they're really obvious and I'm like, ooh, pause, you're out on display today. Or it can be damn pretty, like you didn't see that little bit blend, did you? Um, mostly what does annoy me the most though is when I'm talking mid-sentence and just suddenly stop. And then I never pick up that chain, <laughs> chain of conversation again. And then I'm like, Pri, what, what were you trying to say? Because I don't even know. Um, I also really hate seeing my double chin. I didn't realize it was so effing obvious, but it is, and it's just, it's a part of me, so oh well. Do you ever feel self-conscious in your videos? Oh uh, yeah, that double chin. I really hate it. I really, really just hate it. Um, I feel relatively comfortable talking to the camera in this scenario especially now that I know that there's a few people who are always going to comment love you Annette, Nikki, Anya, Nancy, Julia, Kiri <laughs> um, and that for me improves my comfortability because I know that there is an end conversation that's going to happen down in the comments later on and so that helps with me feeling self-conscious because I go, well, no, I think they might enjoy this. And then I get some beautiful comments back. So you're like, yeah, they do. Um, but I definitely have been more aware of like my hair, my blending. I think I have somewhere I haven't blended clearly. And then looking back, I went, oh my God, I didn't blend that. That's just like this one patch of stuff. And yeah, I'm more, I'm definitely more self-critical, but I feel like I'm also strong enough to accept that people make mistakes and to not get too hung up on it and like attack my own self-worth over it. But I'm definitely much more aware and I'm making more of an effort to like dress nice, have my hair nice and straight. Sorry, I got it cut today and I'm just like, woo, woo, woo. Terrible. <laughs> Um, and number 13, what keeps you inspired to keep creating? Well, the comments, really, to be honest. Knowing that there's someone out there watching and engaging in my content and watching other people continue to create and knowing that you can always get better and you can always improve and also being happy in myself. 
Uh, I definitely have hit a few little snagoos. Snagoos? I've definitely hit a few little breaks here and there just in being like, what can I even film? I don't even know. And it can be so hard to come up with ideas of things to film. But that's when like, I go and turn to like Annette. I might have a bit chat to her and she is just the most supportive and lovely person ever. All my friends, they're all supportive to a degree. But what keeps me inspired is just enjoying this whole process and being so grateful that you are taking some time out of your day to watch me. I'm like, wow, that's so humbling. Anyway, that's the final question. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch Annette's answers to this. She is amazing and she's been a huge influence for me. I probably would have given up <laughs> on doing my channel a while ago if it wasn't for her. And it's been fantastic seeing her growth. I'm so proud of her and she deserves every ounce of it. Uh, if you're watching this video and you are a content creator, I absolutely tag you to do this video. I love knowing what you have going on. How are you filming? How do you edit? What programs do you use? I am just obsessed with the idea of hearing what all your answers are to these questions. I cannot wait. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know in the comments if you do do this tag video so I can come check it out or if you see someone doing the video and you think um, and you think it's worth checking out comment down below let me know I'm so excited I'm so grateful to Annette for agreeing to do this and I'm so grateful to the community of youtubers that I've sort of like kind of become a part of and I love each and every single one of you I absolutely adore every single person who has sat through all of this you are amazing and I hope you do this tag or you spread the word of this tag and get some more people to do it because come on let's let's find out the nitty gritty <laughs> um anyway i'll finish up now thank you so much for watching i absolutely appreciate and adore you